Yo, what is up, you guys? My name is Benji, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see some all-time highs next week like I do, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading Discord. Inside the Discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys. So AMC did end up closing out the day pretty decent, all said and done. We were down over 6% early this morning, but somehow made it back to almost $37. I think at one point, yeah, at one point we even did go into the green and pass $37. Now, 37 was definitely an important number to try to get past be because there was a lot of volume on the call options for 35, 36, and 37, these three strike prices right here. The 35 and the 36 did end up in the money, but the 37 was not so lucky. But speaking of options, let's take a look at next week and see what the market is trying to tell us through the options chain. Right now, we have the top open interest strike price at $125, which is now lower than the normal strike price at the top of 145. We have 17,356 open interest on the 125 strike price, which is quite a bit open interest, 11,000 on the 50 and 10,000 on the 40. We also have a good amount of open interest on the rest of them. And on the put side of things, we are seeing also high open interest for next week, 17,980 on the $30 strike price, 5,000 on the 35 and 5,000 on the $10 strike price. The put to call ratio on the volume side of things, we are still seeing the calls much higher than the puts. 104,000 on the volume for the calls and 75,000 on the volume for the puts. As far as open interest goes, 87,000 on the put open interest and 136,000 for the call open interest. So the bulls or the people that think AMC is going to go up in price from here on or before next Friday are still in control. There's much, there's much more than playing the calls versus the puts for next week. Next up, guys, let's talk a little bit more about the hedge funds. We are seeing more and more articles and analysts talk about how there's going to be some trouble ahead for the hedge funds, market makers, etc. Democrats seek tougher hedge fund regulation after Robin Hood Archegos debacle. This says lawmakers are considering increased financial regulation on hedge funds after this year's implosion of Archegos Capital and Robin Hood's temporary ban on purchases of GameStop and AMC, as well as other stocks. There's already over a dozen proposals under consideration, including banning market makers like Citadel Securities from paying Robinhood to carry out investor trades and requiring hedge funds to disclose any short selling or similar bets against stocks to the public. That is absolutely insane, guys. The fact that those few things are already under consideration, that would change the entire game moving forward here. I think that if there was more forced disclosure, I do think that hedge funds would trade in a different way. The fact that the meme stocks are now under such spotlight by all the retail investors, I think even that is making the hedge funds trade differently moving forward here. Payment to order flow, a practice in which trading firms pay brokers like Robinhood to execute their orders, is likely to be studied by the Securities and Exchange Commission to determine if regulation is needed. One proposal would stop market makers from trading ahead of retail stock transactions. The House Financial Services Committee may vote as soon as next week on which proposals will go to the full House for confirmation. This is pretty crazy, guys. The fact that this is starting to move up the ladder and actually get some attention from lawmakers... I mean, this could change the outlooks for the entire financial markets, and I definitely think it's going to change the outlook for AMC. Now, speaking of hedge funds, let's look a little bit into the broader market and see what's going on try to, to try to get some more clues in the big picture and try to relate it back to AMC. This says hedge funds dumped the rally after buying the dip. One can't say that Goldman's clients have had too much faith in Goldman's trade, Ricos. As Goldman's flow trader John Flood was urging clients on Monday not to buy this dip, they did just that. And on Monday, Goldman's prime broker service observed a surge in hedge fund dip buying as the S&P tumbled to a low of 42.20. Those same hedge funds, however, clearly unsure of what happens next, then proceeded to dump the rally on Tuesday. The GS Prime book saw the largest one-day net sell selling in single names since November 2019, driving by long and short sales. 1.6 to 1 as all regions were net sold led, led in dollar terms by North America and DM Asia and driven by long and short sales 2.5 to 1. This defensive positioning has continued through much of the post Monday rally. Now I do think it's sort of early to tell what's going to happen next year throughout this rest of this year. 
But I do think that there's a possible situation that could actually happen. I think that a lot of these hedge funds are very over leveraged and they could find themselves in hot waters. And the fact that a lot of these hedge funds are shorting AMC so much, I do think that some of them could find themselves in a situation where they're going to be forced to liquidate trades or better said, forced to close their short positions for AMC, meaning buy into shares of AMC to close their position, which of course would cause a short squeeze. And I say this because JP Morgan warns hedge funds to expect intraday margin calls. US banks made a man variation margin up to seven times a day after Archegos default. JP Morgan is warning hedge fund clients that it will demand they post more cash at any time during the day if their trades lose value. So we are starting to see across the US and world markets a little bit of shakiness. And this is not a good thing for the hedge funds because again, I've been hearing time and time again that these hedge funds are highly, highly levered and, and it's not going to take much for some of these hedge funds to start getting margin calls in some of their positions, I'm sure. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also like the video for some good luck for AMC. Let's hit some all-time highs next week. And lastly, if you guys haven't already, make sure to go down to my description, the second link down there, and join our private exclusive Discord server. But make sure you're fast because we are only allowing a few more members to join. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.